Good evening. I am Kunal Jetwa and uh, by profession I am a demand planner, forecaster, inventory controller and uh, sales and operations uh, planning. Today I am going to talk about uh, a model which I have made that has uh, synced demand planning, uh, sales and operations and inventory controlling all together. I call it uh, the beginning of uh, one click supply chain. Here we are going to discuss about uh, a demand plan wherein uh, the example used is uh, of a manufacturer uh, who sells juices, shakes and uh, yogurts uh, across uh, Africa, Middle East, North America, Asia Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, India, Indian subcontinents, uh, South America or Latin America these are uh, also bifurcated at region level and uh, finally we have a combination of uh, the product at the location so this forecast is uh, basically derived uh, from the demand that is uh, the order sold in uh, the, a specific period along with the end of the month back orders which were actually orders from customers but we were not able to uh, fulfill and execute them so we call it a demand driven forecast the total demand for the month of Jan was uh, 1015 and uh, so on and so forth uh, the forecast is uh, used uh, derived through the exponential smoothing method where the alpha is 0.3 and uh, the, the error the absolutes and the squared errors are derived uh, uh, mathematically uh, and I'm sure everyone is aware about this model this uh, very well-known method uh, we can toggle between the demand at all the levels and uh, even at the combination levels and uh, this is the best demand derived out of the statistics uh, for uh, the product at the region and at the combination of both uh, and uh, parallelly we have also uh, drawn the sales and operations plan of uh, the unique factors of product and uh, the region uh, showing the consumption for the entire year the last closing month uh, and its forecast and we have also uh, derived uh, the error, uh, the variance in percentage and uh, the best forecast of uh, the beginning of the new month and uh, this is a specific indicator provided or the specific option provided for the sales and marketing team uh, during the SNOP meet they can uh, uh, using their expertise or uh, you know schemes or any orders which are in pipeline or any projects that they are uh, going through they can increase or decrease the quantity and uh, the reason can be selected here appropriately to have uh, a robust uh, figure and uh, this is how we are going to do it for 370 there is no update so we can select uh, the option of uh, no change in forecast we have uh, changed let's change it here to 790 so there is an increase of 35 uh, quantities where it, uh, it updates uh, that the forecast is changed and here you can have uh, a selection of why it is changed uh, regular target and then we have some exponential movement uh, in this product for example we make it directly uh, almost twice of this number and uh, it says updated and here we can have uh, the remark or whether it is a distributor bulk order or an institutional sale expected from a big tender or so on and so forth uh, this is how we can update and have uh, um, you know, a one click uh, supply chain dashboard we also have uh, the provision of uh, finding out who has been the highest seller uh, across the period and uh, who has been the lowest seller and what has been their, what has been their contribution uh, in the consumption ok so product wise region wise and uh, the consumptions uh, finally we also have synced uh, the inventory controlling part uh, along with uh, the demand planning uh, forecasting and uh, sales and operations where we have the unique combinations uh, we have uh, SKU level we have regional level and we have supply point level stock and in transit and they are stock levels minimum carrying 7 days stock reorder carrying uh, 15 days stock base or optimum uh, level carrying 30 days stock that is one month's coverage and maximum is one and a half month because the products that we are dealing with 
are uh, perishable products they are expiry uh, controlled products and they do have shelf life so we uh, should not be keeping uh, too much of stock uh, or uh, as we know there are chances of the stock getting close to expiry or expired and we will bear uh, you know losses and consequences further there uh, this indicates the level of stock uh, the monthly average uh, the daily consumption of apple juice at africa middle east and the open orders of apple juice at africa middle east and whether we actually need to replenish the quantity now this is a very interesting part uh, replenishment quantity can only be given if the stock goes below or equals to uh, the reorder level that's when i reorder and i replenish the stock so here we have uh, 69 uh, which is uh, then being reduced by 27 more so whatever we have is less than 45 and that's why it is taking the stock back to base level and uh, keeping the stock level uh, at base level it has to uh, uh, replenish the quantities by 48 numbers so that's how we uh, derive on the inventory controlling part or at uh, SKU and regional level and even the supply points these are nothing but the distribution centers or uh, the uh, the agencies or uh, the supply points uh, of uh, of this particular manufacturer maybe a warehouse or a clearing and forwarding agent or a, a cross consignment agent or a distributor and uh, finally just to touch base uh, a hypothetical uh, sales data or consumption data uh, has been prepared to support uh, this uh, algorithm and also the end of the month back orders uh, which is uh, basically a support to have the demand driven forecast so that's all uh, today just to you know close this uh, I would like to specifically uh, have a small synopsis on what the file talks about is a demand planning using the method of uh, the exponential smoothing uh, the forecast is demand driven at SQ and regional level and the alpha considered is 0 0.3 uh, to begin the forecast with and uh, can be modified using the market trend uh, the sales and operations where uh, we have consumption forecast variance gap highest lowest contributors provision for updating new forecast with selective reasoning is available uh, we have inventory control management of stock on hand plus in transit and uh, this is uh, basically uh, the view is provided at supply points with levels of inventory statistically calculated and having optimum coverage to reduce sales risk and stock out situations uh, the assumed product categories will be juices shakes yogurts uh, the regions will be africa middle east uh, and the rest of ones uh, are updated here and that's it from my end i uh, hope you like this uh, project and uh, thank you and have a good evening